What's up, my name is Techno, but here for Troubleshoot, and in today's video, we're going to be troubleshooting some of the possible issues that could be causing Apex to launch up in a pure white screen. What exactly do I mean? Well, when you tell Apex Legends to launch using either the icon or the Origin application, and you see this pop up onto your screen where it just hangs and takes about 100 megs of your RAM. How do we get to fixing this? Well, there's a couple of options, and I'll be running through them in today's video. So before you resort to uninstalling and reinstalling it completely, make sure to watch this video to the end. So before doing anything else, there's a couple of steps that I like to try first. Number one, go ahead and open up Origin. Then navigate across to your library, find Apex, click on it, then click the settings icon, game properties, and head across to advanced launch options. Now in here, in a previous video of mine, I went through starting up the game without the intro video in it. And of course, since then I've added quite a few other launch options that help me with performance in the game. If you're having a widescreen when launching up Apex Legends and you've already restarted your PC and tried again, then make sure to clear the command line arguments here by copying them and pasting them into a notepad file for safekeeping. Then clear them here, save and see if you can launch up the software. If Apex Legends magically starts working again, head back into Settings, Game Properties, Launch Options, and paste them in again. Save, try launch it, and if it all of a sudden doesn't work, try removing each of the launch options one by one until you find out what is causing the issue. But of course, say that the game is still ending in a widescreen and you're unable to get to the main menu. Well, there's a couple more things that we can try. So hold down Start and press E to bring up the Windows File Browser. Then we'll be heading into C, Users, followed by your username. My username is Technobo. Then we'll be scrolling down, finding saved games, and double clicking on that. Then respawn, apex, local, and we'll be looking for videoconfig.txt. Now you can either rename this file to video context one or something like that, so that the video settings are reset when you launch up the game, or you can leave them as is and change one of the settings inside of it by opening it with notepad, scrolling down to the bottom and looking for setting.fullscreen. Setting this to zero, meaning windowed mode, sometimes seems to fix the issue. After you've changed it to zero, save it, close it, and try launching up Apex Legends once again. Assuming that things still aren't working, then head back to this local folder over here where this video config file is, and we'll go back two folders to saved games. Right click on the respawn folder, and click Properties. Then make sure that Read Only doesn't have a square like this or a checkbox like this. Simply click it enough times until it comes out to be a white unchecked box. Then hit OK and apply changes to this folder, subfolders and files. OK. And now our folder is no longer Read Only. The game should be able to edit the settings that are in there. Assuming that file wasn't Read Only to begin with, then of course this wasn't the solution for you. Then the next thing that we can try is opening up Origin, heading across to the top left, clicking Origin, and then Exit. Then we'll hit Start and open up Origin as we usually would, though this time right click on the icon, head across to More, and run as Administrator. Of course, if it's in your list, simply find it, right click, More, run as Admin. Then when Origin completely opens up, try and launch up Apex and see if things are working properly. If they are, just remember to launch Origin as admin, or of course, after the first successful launch, maybe the issue has fixed itself. And then finally, we have the last solution that you can try before verifying your game files, and of course, reinstalling it completely if it becomes that extreme. The solution that worked for me this time around wasn't one of the previous ones that have worked before for me, but was to in fact go ahead and download the latest NVIDIA graphics drivers from the website. Of course, if you're using an AMD graphics card, download the latest AMD graphics drivers from their website. Then install it, run Windows Update as well, restart your PC and see if the game works. At this stage, everything should work fine. Assuming that things aren't still working fine, then try verifying your game files by heading into Origin, My Game Library, right clicking on Apex and heading down to Repair. This will then scan through all of the files on your PC and download more files if it's missing any or repair damaged ones. Assuming that that still doesn't work, there is a solution that I've heard of on the internet where you completely uninstall the game and Origin in its entirety, then reinstall Origin and the actual game itself. Though that of course is the most extreme step here and hopefully most people won't have to end up there. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Hopefully you found something useful in it. My name's been Technobo here for Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.